Oh, hello. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting. Anyway, uh, it's been a while since I made a video. A couple of months, but I'm back today with my updated island tour. And there's Bob in the back looking super happy. Also, I just filmed this and I didn't record myself. Like my mic wasn't working. So uh, yeah, I'm doing it again. So if it sounds a little like I don't know what I'm saying, it's because I've probably already said it before and I'm trying to phrase it in the same way, but it's not possible, so my brain is melting. Okay, anyway, let me show you my map. So if you saw my previous island tour, you can, you will be able to tell that I've actually done quite a bit since then. Uh, before, the whole back was pretty much empty and yeah, right now it doesn't look empty. Although technically it kind of still is, but I'll talk to I'll talk about that later. So, some new people or not people. So some of the new villagers are Pico, Dobi, Bob, and Coco. I think everybody else is the same as before. So yep, let's get started. So for my entrance, uh, I got rid of all the flowers since it's autumn and I actually got rid of all the flowers on my whole island. I kind of like went crazy one day and ripped them all out and then I kind of regretted it because it looks a little empty. So I put them back in a couple of places but anyway the weeds here I like how those look um, and I put a little maple leaf here, a little acorn but yeah, this is my updated entrance for autumn. And then if we go this way, uh, damn, it's bumping here. Hi, Pico. Okay, so a quick note is that I some some areas are a little bare because my island still isn't finished. Like here, there used to be a bench, and technically there is still supposed to be a bench, but I moved it to another area that I was working on. So yeah, please bear with me. There's gonna be a bit of emptiness. And then this area is quite different from how it used to look before. Uh, before it was more like symmetrical and city-ish, I guess. But then I changed it to be more woodsy and foresty and I added like this leaf pile, some weeds, um, and yeah. Over here is Able Sisters. Here is Nook's Cranny and a couple of seating areas. Uh, actually, I also did a speed build of this like a month and a half ago. So yeah, I made two voice recordings and I didn't like either of them. So instead of trying to get that video out, I decided I'd just move on. So here I am building my island tour. Um, and also my beaches are basically empty so I'm not going to be showing you those in this video since there's nothing to see. So if we come this way we have a random path that I made which is basically connecting two finished areas. Um, a bunch of flowers that I placed to fill empty space. It's all just temporary just for now. Here I made a little random area. What is this? Um, bush doing here in the middle of the pond. I don't know. It's one of life's biggest mysteries. Anyway, so if you come this way, there's a little sitting area to sit and ponder life's biggest mysteries. And then here's a little pond. Boom. Oh my god. So, okay, while I'm sitting... No! Punchy! Uh, this is what I dreamed of for so long, and now that I have it, nobody wants to sit with me. Just kidding, I love you. Okay, so what I was gonna say is, actually I stopped playing Animal Crossing for quite a while because of a couple of reasons, but this new update made me start playing again. Oops, wrong emoji. I mean, wrong reaction. Ah, this one. 
this really changed the game and like revolutionized everything on the internet for me. So here I am, I'm back. Anyway, here there's like a little chilling area. I really like this view. Okay, and then if we go this way, this is absolutely nothing. I mean, it's like emptiness that I filled with flowers and this random water fountain thingy. Uh, here I was gonna put an incline because I have this area up here, it's like a, a lookout area. Uh, this looks better at night, but yeah. Uh, this was inspired by this person that I'm going to put on the screen right now. I believe it was Pochette. Yeah. So, um, here is Punchy's house. And then over here we have Bob's house. It's a little garden that looks a bit cluttered, but that's fine. Uh, here's another pond with a lot of emptiness. And then we have Raymond's house. Uh, I decorated this for Halloween, but I didn't really like how it was turning out, so I abandoned that. And then if we come here, we have a little neighborhood park. Oh, Pico's fishing. I just got Pico recently. She's so cute. Okay, anyway. If we come here, we have a little lookout area. I have a lot of lookout areas on my island. But this one, I feel kind of lost its charm since I took away all the flowers. I guess it would have looked kind of cool if I put weeds there instead. But. Uh, as you might know, there's like a limited number of weeds that you can grow on your island and I think I reached that mark, so, yep. And then if we come this way, my island is unfinished, like I said, so there's a lot of blank spots, but here is uh, Chevre's and uh, Piper's houses. And then if we come down here, we have the same area from before. And then just quickly, over here, I was going to put another incline and then it was going to lead to more houses up here. And you can see from the markings that I was going to put a house there. But I thought it would be a bit too crowded, I guess. And I kind of just like the two houses by themselves at the bottom. So for now I just left it empty. And then my house used to be here. But currently that's on the beach because I'm not sure where I want to put it. And if we come down here. My beach. Or not my beach. It used to be my beach because like I said my house was here. But anyway, over here there's a bunch of random stuff. And then back here is the sacred gnome area on my island. So I think that's pretty much all of the right side of my island. So now let's move on to the left side. So initially what I was planning with my island was for the left side to be more naturey and like natural. Naturey and natural. Is that the same thing? I don't know. But I wanted the left side to be more naturey and the right side to be more like city-ish. Right now they're both kind of naturey but I'm thinking of some new ideas that I might film videos for where the right side will be more city-ish. So stay tuned for that. But anyway. If we come over here, there's a little bench with 
a cushion and you can't really see anything because there's a huge cliff here. Maybe not the best placement, but it's a vibe. We don't mind. Down here is my only decorated beach and it's decorated very minimally, which I like. But if we come this way, um, we have my museum, which is, I think, yeah, it's, not, it's one of my new areas. So I wanted there to be like a cobblestone path, but I think this path looks kind of weird when it's placed together like this. I think I will use a different one and maybe in the next island tour I can show it to you guys. Not ideal, but it works. Whatever. And then if we come this way... Oh god. You didn't see that? It's okay. What's Pac-Man doing on my island? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, if you come this way, uh, this is the same area from before, little study spot. Uh, I added some fallen leaves and yeah, so this incline I changed it and then also I made this a little, little bit less symmetrical or like, I don't know what the word is, like straight. It's, it looks a bit more um, natural, I guess. And then here is a little, another sitting area. Seems to be a lot of those on my island. So the lookout area is this. This is the main lookout on my island. And then if you want to be a little crazy, you can run down. And then sit over here. This took a lot of practice. And then take photos. But yeah, this also, uh, like I deflowered it in the back. So it looks a little bare. But whatever. It's something I can fix. So it's not a big deal. Anyway. If we go this way now, down there at the bottom, I was thinking uh, like that was supposed to be a little random area that you would find from the beach. So if there were a path from the beach leading through these like cliffs into this random lookout, I don't know. I still have to finish building that, but that's the... Uh, that's the idea. And then back here is another new area. So I guess the highlight of this area to me would be the winding river. Uh, I'm not sure what I think of the houses or the paths. Because, as you can tell, they don't really match the rest of my island. Or, I mean, no, it doesn't have to be super matchy-matchy, obviously. But, yeah, I might change this area. But, this is how it looks for now. Um, and then here is another sitting area. And then, I just messed around with the path. I think I was experimenting, but I don't love how it looks, so I'm gonna change it. But anyway, uh, Genji's house is over here, and then to the right is an area that I'm experimenting on, so I'll keep that hidden. And then here is uh, Dobie's house, and yep. That's the left side of my island. So let's go to the middle. Man, the previous video I filmed was such a banger. So many villagers talked to me, so much happened. Sad. Okay, so if we go this way, 
Um, this is like the, I don't know, foresty path area. And then leads you to this bridge. And this area used to have a bench here, but I replaced it with this so that you can kind of just lie down and sleep. And I think it looks peaceful. Yep, and then if you go this way, it leads you to the area that I'm experimenting on. So, not much to see there. Here's a little view of uh, the area behind my entrance. Look at Pico looking adorable. So yep, that's my island tour. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, feel free to subscribe for more. Uh, and if you leave a like, I will be very, very happy. So yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye bye.